All right, so we're gonna continue now. Resident Evil. Uh, oh no, I did the thing again. Um, basically today I'm hoping we'll finish the game. Now, take care of that at once and up front. Um, I'm hoping that we'll finish it. I don't think that there's too much left. And since most people say the game is about seven hours, or I'm sorry, about ten hours, and we're currently at seven, we uh, we probably don't have too much left to do. So. I'm just annoyed that I can't get the fish that I need and I probably walked past it and I cannot get back under there but I guess the only thing we'll do is we'll just equip everything yeah okay flashbang so I guess the flashbang just stuns enemies yeah it dazes them there's, there's no plaga in this game or anything so, we, we got a fair amount of stuff. We actually have more than I thought we did. Even though, you know, I, I just played this yesterday. So, it's a fair bit more than I expected. We got like a hundred and some pistol ammo. Uh, shotgun, almost fully loaded. Yeah, we got a fair amount of everything. So, I think we're fine. Nice, okay. I guess the only thing to do would be like to buy one healing item and just heal for free here. Even though, technically, if I have to spend for it, I'm not healing for free, but whatever. Actually, he might not sell them anymore. I might have bought all his healing items. Yeah, okay, so I guess it's like most of the games. They, they sell to a certain amount, and they don't really go any higher than that. So I guess I'll buy the ammo. Why not? Done. Literally cannot sell anything else. I mean, I could sell the antique coin. Tell I don't know do anything. Here's to be alive. Okay. Yeah, I'm one fish away from getting this. And I, I doubt it respawns. I Good doubt day, time passing does anything. So it's just unfortunate. I guess you have to New Game Plus it. I'm assuming this game has a New Game Plus similar to the... Well, pretty much at this point, every Resident Evil game. Right? Alright, let's, let's place the stuff torso now we get her visions what was that it's what she saw before they took her apart the fuck jeez man okay we don't get another one the legs Isn't this exactly what they want, though? Giant's Chalice. What? Yeah, this would have been the ceremony. I think he went to sleep. That's a nice sound. I'm reminded of how good the sound is. Yeah, so we did everything here. I think we just continue. What's going on? I wonder if we put it here. The giant's chalice. Okay. So I wonder what his angle is, you know? Like, like, why would he intentionally give up his peace? Temporary measures. has to do with Chris and everything like so I guess we're, we're really kind of getting like the back end story you know because if this was like a, a normal RE game we'd be following Chris and he'd be doing all the stuff and we'd be following like a very heavy thick plot with all the stuff going on don't worry about the kid even it'll be fine 
Of course. Ah, just get your ass across the bridge. Oh, well, I ain't really do enough to justify saving, I feel. Well, you know every Resident Evil game ah, has to have a factory level. Ethan Winters. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Daughter Moreau. But I suppose you survived worse back in America. Rosenberg's factory. I like you. I'm your biggest fan. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. What are you planning? I guess he can't hear me. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I don't think it is a trap. I think he genuinely wants to offer something. Now, how good of an offering it is is up for debate, but you know, gunpowder. Uh, yeah, okay. Chem fluid. High power gas something. High power gas stove? I don't know. It looks like a, a grinder or something. Or I guess maybe it's meant to hold like a pot on top. What the hell? He has one of those conspiracy boards. Yeah, and he has everyone here. What? Truth hurts. Don't... Let me guess. Your thing, take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. Tell me to Fuck. Shut your fucking hole! Yeah, shut the fuck up! Sorry about that. Take a seat. We're gonna talk this out like men. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? Yes. I said sit! <sighs> yeah, so he can push us down the hole later. Lady, supersized bitch. Ugly, a psycho doll. An emeronic freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain. Well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Yeah, she has Even powers Miranda's too. Scared her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! You and me, Ethan. We could rule the world. Together, we go save Rose, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you. All right, a little fucking touchy. All right. Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. Ah, uh, it's not the answer I would have given. Your future. What the hell is it? What? Oh, it's a walking fucking grinder. What? Yeah, we're not we're not fighting this thing. Shit. Yeah, we're not fighting it. It's a running segment. A dead end. No, it isn't. Dead Down end. here. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, okay, dude. I'll take my chances. We should all be so grateful. What was that thing? Oh my gosh, I don't know, but I... 
golly, that could have been bad. Don't tell me this is a fucking compactor. Uh, yep. Dude, what happened? Oh, you know what? I thought something came down from there. It was like crushing shit. Alright. I mean, I'd argue that there's literally almost infinite rusted scrap here, but whatever. Don't mind me. Okay. I feel like I'm going to need to make shotgun ammo more than anything. Oh, shit, I didn't heal. Well, I, I have a couple healing items. I have four on me. I can make, what is that, like up to three? Yeah, explosive rounds require one or... I'm not going to do that. Oh, fuck. Do I have a pipe bomb? Shit! Polycrystal skull. Alright, nice. On the last bullet. Well, hopefully I can buy a pipe bomb. I botched that fucking throw. It didn't occur to me that there's no invisible walls on that, on, on you know, for me to throw past until I actually threw it. I, I, I know. Look, I just started, okay? I'm even ten minutes in. Alright, moving up. Hoping I finish this game soon, or like, relatively soon today, so, because I want to move some stuff this place is messed up dude how, how much shit does he have in here yeah the resident evil universe got some serious problems luckily for everyone it kind of always ends up being okay you know oh hey buddy as you wish Go to 190. 1,000. Please do take a look at my new stock. What the fuck? A semi-automatic shotgun. Wow. Oh, my God. Of course. They added new weapons right at the end of the game. 200 is the start. Oh, I, I spent all this money to, to build this shit, and it's not even the best. I, I thought we were at the end of the game. I thought we were just going to have a fight and a conclusion. Well, I guess I fucked up then. Because I shouldn't have spent all that money on ammo and other things. Because I, I would want to get this shotgun. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to find anything for it. Wolfsbane increased capacity. Red dot sight increases firepower. Which would make it even better. I'm not so interested in the handgun necessarily but getting the shotgun will be pretty nice i just don't have the money anymore to do it yeah because i could go up to a 1120 but i'm pretty sure the other one is like 1060 1160 i guess there is no better rifle we could increase the rifle's power at the minimum yeah it's it's not enough it's in bobs i see yeah. To hunger. Used to be alive. I might just have to deal with it. I, I didn't know to save up everything. Yeah, you can increase your inventory even further. So I don't know if we're gonna get another weapon or anything. I might just have to ride out what I have, and, and maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get the shotgun. You know, it has a very good fire rate, very good capacity. That might be the one thing I'll, I'll save up for that and the the extra baggage. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. He's in an elevator? Oh, okay. B4 materials, B3 manufacturing, B2 electrical. 
B5 disposal is what we climbed out of, and then B1 storage and then the garage entrance. Well, they got a factory feeling, right? You could turn on your flashlight, though, homie. Some kind of locking mechanism. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you would hit me. Takes like a full mag just to kill two or three of them now. Looks like there's not enough power. Oh, I'll say. The whole place is dark as shit. This is what I would imagine an Umbrella Lab to look like. This is kind of like the lab in the remake. Do you guys mind? ammo is always a good solution, I guess. I'm not going to stress too much about the weapons. Although it would be really cool. Basically got my shotgun shells back. machine. It can't be used without a mold. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for here. I guess this is what he does to them. He puts a bunch of pins and shit in them. I guess we're gonna have to do that to a skull, right? Looks like something could fit the depression. I know it says in the depression, but fit the depression sounds cool. I should have sniped him. Grinding gears. I don't know why he refuses to use the flashlight here. This guy has chainsaw arms, doesn't he? You're not gonna get up, right, homie? I fucking hate this game. So goddamn much. You have no idea. No, don't worry, I did. The relief mold. Booga booga! Can he leave that room? Is 
he getting faster? I think I hit him, he just he didn't recoil. Dude, my eyes are fucking going crazy trying to even see here. Please die. <laughs> Yo, he gets faster, what? Isn't that like the meme with games? The more you hurt something, the, the stronger it gets, which is like the exact opposite of how exhaustion works. Crystallized mechanical heart. That's not how exhaustion works. Yeah, I'm closer to death and more pissed off. So, I mean, yeah, you get reckless, but, you know, it's like, okay, I have new abilities and I'm stronger now, dude. I was holding back. There you go. Mmm. Of a horse, yeah, because he's he's white or Seems what useful. is it, iron horse, or something? Okay. Of course. I think the pistol ammo is going to be the biggest casualty. Maybe the pistol is more worth it. What? Oh, okay. It's a piece of machinery. I was going to say, like, am I looking at, like, a big daddy or something? Magnum. Of course. We have to probably dodge fucking machinery or something. Hey, you probably shoot it and it stops like pounding. Okay. Maybe it doesn't turn back on if we're lucky. Excellent. Oh my god. I think get yep, there you go, I aggroed them, so they're gonna get crushed. Never mind. I was gonna say, that's a lot of damage to eat, homie. So they make sure that you get a fair amount of shit. That's like every single one of these drop like a good amount of ammo, essentially, if I want to buy it. So I can't really complain. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to hit this. Right here. Even coming over here for exactly? Some weird key. What was this? Yeah, it's the merchant. So I mean at least at least we're doing this area first. 
and then we have to go up to B3, and then I guess uh, the closer we get back to the first floor, you know, we will be able to, like, probably deal with White Horse. His name's not White Horse, it's Iron Horse? Heisenberg. What the fuck? Why is White Horse a thing that I'm saying? Locked from the other side. Oh, okay, we're back here. I didn't even know there was a door over there. Alright, that's obviously a wall to break. Need a pipe bomb for it. Backup generator. Uh. Mm. Yeah, this is the one thing I can't see in here. I'm guessing that's like the audio or something, you know? That's like a soundtrack. All right, I kind of want to break the, yeah, see, it's a, it has a pipe bomb icon. I'm gonna break that first. Might have like a useful item or something. Sucks, I wasted all my pipe bombs though. I guess I'm gonna have to buy some more. Shotgun ammo. We, you have to do a mechanical part for a cylinder. Or a, me a mechanical part in the shape of a cylinder. I'm sorry, English is not my first language, apparently. That's totally gonna shut behind me. Probably when we bust this, it's gonna shut. Which will lock us in. Factory map, lower levels. Yeah, they've had uh, things like this in here, and I just haven't really done much with them yet. I mean, like maps, you know? Wait, is it left on the D-pad or right on the D-pad? It seems like both are the same. Or, I'm sorry, I don't- I, I say D-pad, it's touchpad. A cog mold. So, what was the point of all that? Technically speaking, don't we just go back down here? Yeah, I fucking hate you. So much. <laughs> Is it? It's not Propeller Man, right? Oh, it's arguably something worse. So we just have the cog mold go to work. Oh, so can we trap him anywhere? I don't know if we can. Yeah, we need the key. But at least we could put the generator... We could put that back into the generator. We just have to run all the way around again. I forget actually where I got it from. I don't know if he can come in here. He probably can. Yeah, this isn't a safe area.
probably one of the stronger BOWs in existence, beaten by a table. And one man that can walk around it in a circle. Yeah, this is actually the way you don't want him to rotate. just worth killing him just for the shit. He's not particularly difficult. Jesus. Obviously on like a higher difficulty or something you probably just avoid him just to save ammo. What? What happened to my map? Oh, they, that's what those were on the wall. I'm like, what the fuck? Where did you come from? Here we go. That's not the kind of sound I want to hear. Oh, Ethan Such a disappointment. I thought we could join forces against that bitch, Miranda. Truly disappointing. Be her children. She locked us away in the village. Decades of being forced to serve her. Can you even understand that humiliation? Yeah, he hates his role. Everyone else is trying to please her. I'm not like my siblings. I want nothing more than to be free of that bitch. That's all I need power. <laughs> I need enough power. These are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me, Ethan. No, I'm starting to agree with him. What freak? I mean, like, he doesn't seem all that bad of a guy. By Resident Evil standards, he seems like a pretty okay guy. It's just, you know, I guess we're gonna have to fucking kill him. Even though I'm, I'm pretty sympathetic to his cause. But we, we haven't even really seen anything to do with Miranda. Like, we don't really even know what she wants. You know, what her goals are. Oh, motherfucker. How many of these dudes am I gonna have to fight? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, he walked in here on purpose. Oh, fucking kill me. Pick it up. Jesus, man. Yeah, I'm not the only one hearing that, like, wobble, 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 right? Okay. Okay, what is this? Sniper ammo? Okay, I guess, I guess it was sniper ammo I picked up all that time ago. Yeah, this is a boss room. Excellent. fight two of them. Yeah, you 
kind of want to have them attack you. So that way you can hit the chest. Okay, cool. You wonder what I noticed on the... When you're hurt, you have like circles on your health bar. So I'm not sure if that's like supposed to be you being infected or, or what it is. But like, you have like, I don't know if you could see it now, but like, yeah, I see how there's circles. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Right, I have like no shotgun ammo, so that would be the shit to craft right now. I mean, it basically got me through most of this, right? I got tons of rusted scrap. The only thing I'm, I don't have a ton of is chem fluid. Yeah. That's like the one thing I don't have a ton of is, is chem fluid. So I guess I'm going to have to... Or, uh, sorry, it's rusted scrap. Which is ironic. We're in a factory filled with rusted metal. wouldn't have that dude be there yeah see is this another fucking driller yeah it is they wouldn't have that electricity be there if it wasn't if this dude wasn't about to like bust free you know fuck off oh stuck he's got two It's on his head? No, it's on his back. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to step behind him. Well, there you go. I'll use two magnum shots. That's pretty okay. That's actually a smart inversion of the whole enemy type. You know, for a factory segment, usually I say, like, these are, like, the worst parts of a Resident Evil game just because, you know, like, the mystery and the air is gone. This is not a bad one. This is a pretty good one, actually. Oh, shit, I just went in a circle and thought I was doing something new. Well, obviously, that other dude has to get up at some point. I don't even know where the fuck we are. What floor are we on? Yeah, we went up. We went up to B3. Oh, we've been here before. Okay. Right, so isn't... Where's, uh... What's his name? Fat man. I left him back down there. I mean, that's a long way back to get to him. Yeah, and they're mass producing these. I, I can only imagine that they're I don't, trying to use them to do something. I don't know. Maybe he was plying to take over the whole shit to begin with. Or maybe it was at her command. You know how the 
Resident Evil villains are. Man, fuck this. hate your bitch ass. I wonder if the flashbangs work. Okay, they do. Alright, one magnum to the back puts them down. So that's how you kill them. You flash them and you move behind them. electricity thing may have played a bigger role in it, too, than I'm giving it credit for. Or alternatively, you could just run through the room to begin with anyway. Still being hunted by Propeller Man. Don't you understand, Ethan? It's not just you, it's your bloodline. So maybe they were lying when they said Ethan is just an average, ordinary dude, you know? That was the original selling point. But maybe it's it's much more than that. Maybe Ethan himself is, is sort of welcome, like a BOW or something. You're sure to find something new. Ah, yes, yes. Still can't afford the shotgun. Well, I could totally afford it now. Pay me no mind. Uh Okay. This can be combined with something. I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, if only we could get some fish, we would be good. I mean, I could buy this. How much would I get if I sold my current shotgun? This is all an investment. Well, I can't sell it yet because I just reloaded the damn thing. I have to sell it later. Which kind of sucks because I have all these attachments for it and I'm going to have to get rid of it. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. Uh, 93,000. I think that that's a pretty good deal. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to buy this shotgun by the secondary one. <sighs> I do, do what I did before. Empty out this one and then sell it. Perhaps you should consider minimalism. Yeah, cancel the purchase. No, I'll spend money. Thank you for your patronage. Perhaps you should consider minimalism. What a fucking clown. Of course not. Why would I ever do that? This is a Resident Evil game. Well, I guess you could argue inventory management. Right? I need to buy or make another couple healing items. I feel I feel like at this point in the game we we definitely need more. Ah oh, shit. I'm trying to figure out what I can and can't organize. Since the game wants you to do it yourself. Which is actually fine by me. Okay. I knew we had more than enough room. 
the, the thing is, is just making sure that you can fit as much as you need to. So we have more than enough room. In fact, I'm not even going to put the lockpicks over here. Because it, it just sucks. The lockpick literally ruins an otherwise flawless inventory system. Naturally. But if I buy this, I'll have no money for anything else. So that's like the one reason to not buy it. Is like, I would have no money. No, I would buy this. Yeah, no, I can't sell the shotgun right away. Yeah, because they don't let you unload the shotgun. Oh, fuck it, whatever. Looking forward to testing it out? Of course. Good day, then. And I'm basically now just trying to save up so I can uh, put the other thing on it. I forget what it is. All right, we're on B3. I guess there is no B2, or if there is, there's no elevator support for it. Is there a typewriter in here? Yeah. Sure. B3? Manufacturing? Got a long way to go. Yeah, I can imagine. Did he talk this much in the last game? Did he even talk at all? I forget. I don't remember if he did. I don't think so. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us. No. We're just things She's to guide. She's lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. I don't give a shit about your family drama. I don't think he did talk this much. I think he spoke at the end of the game, maybe. Some minor 49ers. Chem fluid. Two pipe bombs, which is nice. I'm glad I didn't buy any. And gunpowder. bigger dude. Oh, shit. I didn't think he could walk through those boxes for some reason. Alright, we're done with that gun. I'm gonna go back to using the pistol. I'm gonna go back to using the pistol shittily. Let me use the pipe bomb instead. I just wanted to get the shotgun out of the way. I could actually go back and sell it. And uh, we could make a little bit of money off of it. That'll be enough to buy that one upgrade. And we'll be able to... Uh... Actually, yeah, this is leading onward. I don't want, I don't want to do that just yet. Because I, I want to go back and get rid of this. Because I know the temptation will be there for me to equip this. And also, I could use some extra supplies. Because I don't know what's ahead, obviously. So let me do this first. I guess this segment is going to be just as long as the castle, because the other ones were kind of short, all things considered. That would be the one thing I would say, is that, like, Bienavento and Moreau were kind of, like, together an area themselves, you know? Whereas, obviously, the vampire chicks were, were like, a full portion of the game probably still the best portion I, I think that that was a really good one you know you kind of have that old school resident evil free roam with a little bit of nemesis in it with what people you know it's something trying to hunt you down shall i choose something for you? stuff like that never gets old and i think that that's something that you know it's reasonable to fight back 
but it's also like not something you really should be aiming to do. It's, it's, more, it's sort of like a cost and uh, a cost Securing analysis. Is more important than anything. Anything. Sell, uh, yeah, this is worth the same amount unupgraded. And this does more. It has a longer reload, but it holds ten, so you reload less. I'm surprised you'd part with this so early. All right. We have 65,000, we could upgrade the... I, I mean, I guess it's just firepower, right? We can either upgrade one of these, you know? Food is life. I agree. Oh, wow, it actually keeps the upgrades that I put on it. Yeah, so basically, it really is like you're trading in stuff. Yeah, I'd rather buy this. I hope this one makes it. There you go. Better firepower. And uh, how much do I have? Fifty-two handgun and st or stock. Okay. Five. Yeah. I mean, I almost should just buy it. I see. Anything else? We just need the ammo at this point. An interesting selection. Okay, we can't upgrade anything after that. Good day then. I do think you could argue that the pistol would be a very good thing to upgrade, but I, I just don't think I'm gonna have the money for it. I would need a lot of money. I think it was what, like fifty sub? I have to look. I, I didn't really plan for it, even now that I know it's there. Usually Resident Evil games do have, like, a couple of tiers of weapons. Um, there was that one in four that I never used, the, the double shot that I think Ada gets as her weapon. I forget what it was called, because I haven't played Resident Evil 4 in years. And honestly, playing this makes me want to play it. So I'm like, what was it, the Black Tail or something? I forget. It's been a long time since I played it, and I, I it's kind of an even longer time since I did a new game of it so I did start like I did start it as a playthrough fucking twice and never finished it never did anything with it either that's my fault because I, I played it on the PS2 that was ages ago and on really shitty capture software and everything so I was kind of like yeah whatever and that version kind of sucks anyway the PS2 version of Resident Evil 4 is kind of known Wait, what the fuck is this area? Hold on. Are we gonna be running or some shit? Ooh. Okay, here I was thinking it, it would turn into a running segment. It's not. Alright, yeah, I'm scared for a second there. Yellow Quartz, Vivianite, and Large Crystal. Wait, Key? What? Louise's Key? I have no clue where we're supposed to use that. Oh, and I never placed the broken slab either. Oops. It used to be attached to something, but what? Very valuable. Valuable. It's not combinable. Okay. No, none of those are combinable. They're just rare gems if you happen to look back. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I thought dudes were falling out of the sky. Yeah, it's it's a massive shredder. Clink clank. That's not like a dinner bell. Ooh. 
What? Another one? Oh shit, okay. I didn't think you'd actually hit me. And these dudes can jump around. One of them. Ah, well, he missed anyway. We both kind of missed. What the fuck? Oh, okay. He's got a laser designated attack. Particularly aggressive one, but you know. You know what it is? There's no machine gun in this game. <clears throat> we have more combat in this game, but there's no machine gun to sort of double as like an ammo dump. That that's kind of what it, I'm, I'm feeling like, because I feel like there, I should have more ammo than this. Most Resident Evil games have like the TMP or something, and we, we just don't have that in this game. Okay. I don't have enough chem fluid, that's the problem. Should use the sniper rifle on one of them. Yeah, more sniper ammo. If, if only the sniper had like canted iron sights, that would be like really helpful because then you could go from first to zoom. Are you supposed to be shooting these? I guess so. Dead space room. Okay, I think we're good. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat went bone dry. <laughs> that's uh, that's always a good thing, right? Maybe. I got the stuff above stop falling as well. It's not going to be this simple to just leave, is it? Huh, I guess so. This dude's got me dreading every single corner. Soldat enhancement. Soldat jet. Attach a jetpack and head stabilizers to a soldat. Greatly improves mobility. Experience proof, limited flight capabilities, no long distance flight, but not possible to navigate rugged terrain. Soldat enhancement, Soldat Panzer. Attached aluminum alloy shielding to a Soldat to protect chest reactor exposed flesh. Ugh. Experimentation proves he's invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. So they're, they're telling you about what you've seen and what's to come. We're gonna need to like, probably blow up somebody upper levels he's invincible to regular firearms so probably like a grenade launcher I wouldn't count that as a regular firearm oh great That's a dead space trap right there. <laughs> I 
I was like, huh? That was close. Could you get sucked off of that? And, and yeah, the answer is totally. Holy fuck. Okay. Good to know. It's way easier than what they would do in Dead Space, though. Dead Space... Dead Space will legit say, hey, this tiny flimsy piece of glass got broken. You literally do not have enough time to aim in and look up to shoot it, depending on where you were. Bruh. Please be careful. For fuck's sake, man. Okay. Chem fluid. Where are we? B2. I guess B1 leads us to the cargo bay, and that's going to be like where we have the big fight, I'm guessing. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over for your kid and for the whole village. But don't worry, I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Yeah, what is her power, Rose? though? Something with the mold. I'd like to see you try. It has to be something with the mold, because they say that the original one is here. And we've actually seen it in the distance. I didn't want to stay too long, but... Here we go. We finally got the key mold after all that bullshit. Okay. Did I get everything in there? Apparently not. Like, I, I hate to check the map a thousand times over, but... What, what did I actually miss in this room? That's what I mean. Like, I don't want to spend five minutes searching every room from top to bottom. There's more? You said yourself, you got a long way to go. Oh, is this the, the elevator? Yeah, so we have to go back downstairs and make the key. Something will probably attack us when we make the key. Alright, let's call him up. Because we have to call him up to go back down anyway. And we'll buy as much shit as we need. We'll, we'll get some healing items and stuff. You know how it, you know how it is. Right. Shall I choose something for you? Ethan's never gonna ask him how the fuck do you keep going place to place? Customizable for the handgun. Where is the handgun? Yeah, it's a hundred and two thousand. I'm never gonna get it. I'm never gonna be able to afford it. Crystal, large crystal. Alright. Vianite and yellow quartz. Two more large mechanical hearts. As always, a trustworthy fair exchange. And I'm still nowhere close, so might as well just upgrade the shotgun for this amount of money. Yeah, fuck it. And just buy supplies for whatever I need. I think he's still... No, he's all sold out. There's nothing else to buy. Oh, I'm, I'm on my own. Holy shit. Yeah, he, he keeps a certain stock. He gets restocks throughout the game. But other than that, he, he doesn't get, like, 
tons of new shit. So whatever it is, I'm, I'm just on my own. Please come again. All right, we gotta go back down. I'm sorry, this room was lit before. Wait, where is the printing the printing press? Where's the, the cast? Oh, it was on three. Never mind, I don't even need to go down here. Right? Where does the elevator drop you off at three? Oh no, my bad. It's it's on like mid basement. Yeah, so no matter what I have to I thought this this pauses the game, but you can still hear his coughing. Okay, that's nice. I, I mean, I guess I have to go <clears throat> back through this. Sure, at least it's dark. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Who turned out the lights? Help! I wonder if they'll make a VR version of this, you know, just for, just for the, we totally can. I saw that glowing up there, by the way, but I, I just kind of genuinely don't give a shit. So how do I get this? I have to go down. Oh, great. Oh, even better. All right. Why do I love the sniper? Well, because it actually just kills shit. <laughs> it might quite literally just be that simple. Yeah, I, I see it. I'm not. I'm not gonna shoot it. I need to save my ammo. That's why I miss things like the TMP. Like everyone shits on the TMP in Resident Evil 4, but it does serve a purpose. It's it's a filler gun. You know, it's it's what you. Where what? Oh. Hang on, I need to focus. Hey, these guys are working kind of stupid. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, like the TMP served a valuable purpose, you know, and people shit on it nonstop. I just feel really bad for it. Like, it's not bad, it's not terrible, it's not complete trash, it's just not as good as the pistol or anything else, so people are just kind of like, oh, well, fuck it, right? Okay. I use it all the time. It's very helpful. Alright. You unlocked it. Great. Alright, nice. Kind of worked out. I don't know what that could be. It's got to be something good. Maybe it's the art thing to combine with this, because this this doesn't seem like the mandatory door needing you know you need to use this on. Yeah, we probably combined the cylinder with uh. Where is it? Here you go. No, not that. I wonder what that design is supposed to be. What the f 
fuck? Oh, I'm, I always look in the wrong place. Here we go. Big hammer. I wonder if it's just supposed to be his hammer from earlier. All right, well, I mean, with that, we could just go back. You know, we could just go back up top. Because I don't know what we need to hit with the switch. The only thing left to do is to go back up to B B1. And then we could open this door. Which way is the fast way out? This way. No more soldats, please. Wait, I wonder if that reinforced one is the one with the fucking propellers on its hand. Oh, this is him! Yeah, I'm running by this fucker, by the way. I just have to bait him all the way back into the other room. I'm gonna dip right around his ass. Ugh. The best part is the vibration has different levels. You could hear him stomping and you could feel him stomping on the ground. Alright, come on, idiot. Yeah, okay, here's what I'm gonna do because you move that fucking quick. Goodbye. Ethan, don't you understand? If you were just a mere human, you would never have survived all of this. Oh, there's multiple! Oh, this this went from, like, really bad to fucking worse. Ah, oh, shit. I have to bait him into this room, flash him, and run by. I reloaded it. Hi, merchant man. We're going up here. There you go. Fuck fighting those. Why the hell would I do that? Okay. Alright. Ah, yes, yes. I guess I'll save after this. I'm gonna buy two mines. I don't think there's anything to sell either. Here we go, we'll sell this. I'm buying this because of we'll our back out. I save. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. You wish to make a purchase? Let's see if he says anything unique for Heisenberg's hammer. It's too heavy for use, of course. Ah. Okay. Food is life. I'll buy it at a high price, stranger. Do let me know if you find anything else of value. All right. Probably our good old friend who we've been running from. Prototype Sturm. Used a cheap uh, turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor. Completely invincible head on, but the dumbass managed to chop his own arms off on the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion a complete failure. 
So, he doesn't have arms. We just have to run away from him when he charges at us. It sounds like. Completely invincible head on. Okay. Where are these pictures? Just of him. He looks like a Silent Hill monster. Just like how everyone is like, yeah, Siren Head. Yeah. Si you know, Siren Head really wouldn't be out of place in a Silent Hill game. He just wouldn't be the main thing in a Silent Hill game. He would be like a background character, I feel. Uh, what the fuck do I do? Can I run back? Ow. I see, so he has to open up the fucking room, are you serious? Yeah, this whole room is destructible. Yeah, he did cut off his own arms. He just has stumps. How would you even have done this? Oh shit, he went further. Shit. It'll be cool if like at the end of this he just completely takes the fuck off. <laughs> it just flies away and blows up. I'm gonna angle him to run into something differently. Uh, slightly faster one, I think. How much punishment does he need? Like, how does this even work? Uh-oh. Dude. And now he breathes fire. This is what I'm talking about. That shit where bosses get stronger the more you damage them. Oh, I can't move. This is literally the meme. Ow, get up, come on. How do you even hurt him at this point? I'm gonna try to use the magnum on him just because I, I don't think I can take the time to snipe him anymore. Okay. At least the fire doesn't really hurt you, it seems. Yeah, he cooled off. Okay. <sighs> Fucking... Never mind. The fire totally does hurt you. They did something like this in Resident Evil 6, I think. Oh, he's hot again. Yeah, 
I, I can't. I can't get through the fire. <laughs> this is such a dumb boss fight. It's not a bad boss fight, it's just really fucking hilarious. This big cartoonishly comical fucking dude. Oh, he actually just rampages all over the place. Okay. We're just waiting for him to cool off a little bit. If he does. Got mine. You know what, that is a good purring. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. He blows him up. That's like early in the fight. The mine is probably like really good because he'll walk on it. Yeah, I'll keep it. I, I don't think we're going to need mines to defeat him. I think you have to just kind of get lucky with the fire placement and shoot him from behind like before. And I just kind of coincidentally don't want to use up all my magnum ammo to kill him. I think that's it. No, he's just on fire again. Where the fuck is he? Oh shit. He is a, a little too much health, maybe. Just a little. You do have to hide behind one of these pillars for the fire attack. You know what's interesting? I never needed the sniper scope. That was just something I just never needed. Yeah, there's like no chance to attack him. There, there must be something I'm not doing right about this. I'm not sure how you get behind him so reliably at this point. Because when he's on fire, he turns faster. You know how Resident Evil bosses are. Usually they're they're pretty quick affairs, too. No, he's not stuck. I just don't like that I, I can't hit him at all. I'm going to go back to trying to place the mines, because I think that might help. I don't think that that does anything. Yeah, what the 
fuck, man. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna place the mines back here, because I'm gonna try to bait him to come back here. Oh. Did that kill him? Now stay down. Hilarious. Wow. That that's all I needed to do. Was just take the mine. A complex mechanical heart. Yeah, you don't place the mines in the open, you bait them to run around. Okay, well now you see, that makes a lot more sense than anything else. Alright, anyway, moving on. A cigar. Miranda is abominable, her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed could do experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the poor uh, than the other poor schmucks in the village. She still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. The crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see the difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't ju uh, just change my body. She took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn, she can turn into anyone using the Mega Mycite. The trick is that brat, Rose, if I got access to her power, speaking of the kid's dad, Ethan, is a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Yeah, this is his journal. She can turn into anyone. So she can pretend to be anybody. Then maybe that, that wasn't actually Mia that we left. Maybe that wasn't Mia that they tried to gun down. Because maybe they took her body with her. And then that was what we saw in the flashback. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's not what it is. Maybe she's pretending to be stuff. I, I have no idea. I don't know necessarily if that means she gets their powers or, or what that really does mean. Yeah, I don't I don't like this. This also feels like an arena. And we haven't dealt with Heisenberg himself, so, you know. Oh, easy. Careful. <laughs> All right. I hate when you open doors like that. Where are we? Well, we're in the factory, dumbass. Okay, whatever, moving on. Uh-oh. What the? Yeah, he can control metal. not going to work. Bullets won't work against him. I don't know how we're going to stop this dude. He just seems to be like too powerful. work to climb up and we're just back at rock bottom again that bastard <laughs> all that work Damn it again yeah that's kind of how I feel I guess that's why he's been prepping all these soldiers hoping I, I guess they can take the fight to her Who's there? 
Dude, can you stop being an asshole? I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That no, her. that was her! She was pretending to be it Chris. Was what? Oh, fuck. She's a bioweapon. Yeah. She changed her appearance and pretended to be. She can pretend to be a man. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? If she had access to the mold, you made a kid out of the mold, she would want All right. that. Alright. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Let's get to work. What? We don't... Oh, okay. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. <laughs> In this village, all these monsters and freaks... Might be like a rejected work. umbrella scientist. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. You could kill that dude. Hey, look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Yeah, she has all the rose Holy pieces. Holy shit, we gotta go. Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> now with this, you do. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Well, now that makes a lot more sense now that we know that she can become anyone. Yeah, this is the point of no return, I guess. Hound Wolf Squad, the soup of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. They managed to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mutamycite, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Oh, so where's Mia been? Yeah, so that was Chris. That, okay, because I was going to say, if she turned into Chris, then why would she kill her own people after extracting Rose? Moreover, why would she try to kill everyone else? I guess that's why she was cooking that weird meal. And, and Ethan was like, damn, why would we cook that? I wonder if there were more clues at the beginning of the game to show that off, that that wasn't her. She thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a, a little damper on her plan so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off of Rose. Yeah, so why, why would they put her in the same truck that they were transporting everyone else? Time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal-slash-polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Yeah, because no no metal is going to work on him. So where's, where's the real Mia? Mia might be dead, and we just did not know. Yeah. I like how he brings a fucking typewriter with him. Mia might actually just already be dead, or captured somewhere. Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense for... Obviously, that's that's the real question. It wouldn't make sense for Chris to kill Mia at all. Why would he do this to Ethan? And I thought I thought maybe she could mimic her, but I don't know. All right. Well, anyway. <clears throat> Once we get on board this, I, I guess we just do it until we're done. Metal 
metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. What I'm the coming, fuck brother. is this? Ready cannon? Fire cannon guard? Okay. And then machine gun and fire cannon after holding it. Okay. This is gonna be something else. I, I'll say that at the minimum. 